Welcome to the walkthrough for Mojo 2 Tenor Sax. Mojo 2 Tenor Sax was previously only available in the complete Mojo 2 library, but is now available as a premier tenor sax standalone instrument. This tenor sax has been meticulously recorded with a wide assortment of articulations, legato styles, as well as options to choose between a full mix or create your own mix, blending between three different mic positions. This library also includes four quick era settings to instantly transport your sound from early recording days up to the present. As we continue the walkthrough, we'll mainly focus on the sound of the tenor sax. If you want more details of features, pages, and controls, you'll find that info in our in-depth 2.0 walkthrough for Mojo 2. With all the many articulations available, the primary and most often used will be your sustains. With just the sustains themselves, you can perform a wide range of playback styles, as well as add embellishments on the fly. Within that quick performance, you heard various legato styles, including our natural legato mode, which is great for quick, agile, and extremely realistic legato style playing. If you hold down the sustain pedal while in legato mode, intervals larger than a minor third will have a seamless note run legato transition. Sustains can also be played with recorded vibrato. or use simulated vibrato for full control over both intensity and speed. Unlike the typical simulated vibrato, ours has been created to make the most realistic sounding vibrato possible. So instead of exchanging realism for control, you'll get both. Another addition to the playback options of the sustains is the ability to add flutter tongue style playing. This flutter tongue effect will give your performance that extra added intensity and growl when needed. Alternative release options are available for the sustains. These releases give a seamless transition into doits, trills, shakes, or falls when you release a note. As you can see, the sustains articulation has a vast range of expression by itself, but there is a large assortment of additional articulation options to add even more life and realism to your performances. For quick short note style playing, one of the options are the staccatos. The other short note articulation are the stabs, which have a forceful attack like the staccatos, but with a slightly longer tail. Stabs also have the ability to be played with legato, combining the punch of the stabs with the lyrical ability of legato transitions. Let's take a listen to a few more of the articulations available. With the trills articulation, you can manually select the interval you'd like to play, or select playable trills. Now simply play the trill interval you'd like to play back up to a major third. Swells and crescendos can be set to specific timings to allow the maximum velocity of your note to land on the exact timing you need. With the length control set to beats, I can set my timing from 1 to 16 beats long. Let's set my crescendo timing to 8 beats. Now let's hear this in context, with some additional music, where my crescendo chord will conclude exactly at the end of 8 beats. The crescendos are another articulation that give you the option to add real legato transitions between two notes. Lastly, falls can be played in short, medium, or long lengths. The mixer page gives you the options to use any combination of the three mic positions, starting with a super dry close mic.
The near mic sits a little further back and adds some stereo dimension. Finally, the room mics will add some depth and let your horn sit back in the mix. If your computer is short on memory, we recommend using the full mix. The full mix is a pre-mix combination of all three mic positions. You can see turning off individual mic positions removes the samples from memory. The players section allows for instant ensembles. Choose between two through 10 players. The auto divisi button will automatically maintain a specific number of players in your ensemble. So setting my players to four and playing a single note will result in all four players playing that note. Two notes will have two players on each note. And playing a four note chord will have one player on each of the four notes played. Also, notice how moving individual notes within a chord will smartly maintain my four person ensemble. All the effects include really useful preset options to make tone shaping and mixing decisions even easier. The mapping page gives you advanced controls over key switch mapping and adjusting MIDI CC assignments for various parameters of the instrument. Well, that's it for this walkthrough. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want a more detailed look at the controls and functions of this library, check out the in-depth 2.0 walkthrough for Mojo 2. To check out the product page for this library, you'll find a link in the description below. Thanks for watching.